Hey guys, what is up? The Neocubist here. Welcome to my simple mini garden house tutorial. This is pretty easy to build, doesn't take too many resources. You could build it as a starter home, obviously you wouldn't have an ender chest or anything, but you can customize this interior to your liking. We also do have a really, really cool underground portion here for all of your anemones. I don't know how to say that word. Anyways, let's get to the tutorial. Alright, so to build your miniature small garden house, you are going to need the materials found on my hotbar below. So we're going to start off by building this pattern right here out of oak logs. So if you want to pause the video right here, build this entire little base and come right back. Alright, so I'm going to assume you've done that. We're going to make these a total of three high. These little interior ones, we're going to make these four high. So like this, four. Then we're going to place an oak wood slab on top of here. This interior cobblestone is going to be your floor, obviously. Next step is going to be getting grass on your roof. So either you can build a dirt staircase up, and I'll show you what that is in a second, or you can just use silk touch and obtain grass like that. Uh, if you want to get grass on your roof without doing the uh, method of having a uh, silk touch pick or shovel or whatever it is, uh, you can build a little dirt staircase like this, and the grass will slowly grow up here and then get on your roof. Uh, or you can just use Silk Touch. Really, it doesn't matter. It's just a matter of preference and uh, what you have obtainable at the point in which you create the build. Next step is going to be placing trapdoors all the way around here. This is going to give a nice little, uh, I don't even know, but it just makes it look like the grass is contained in some way. Uh, next step is going to be come inside of your empty little build here and place some slabs. That's going to cover up the dirt for the inside of the build. And it's also going to make it look like it's nice and contained like that. Next, you can just take some random flowers. We're going to do a couple blue orchids here. We'll do a piece of grass and a grass. I'm going to zero blue it. And then uh, we can do a purple allium somewhere. Well, I guess right there. Then we can take one of these ferns and we can just, well, or take two of them. Do something like that. You can really do whatever you want up here. You could even do a double high, uh, double high plant if you want. But I'm just going to leave it like this. You can leave one space, like, sort of empty. Or you can be OCD like me and fill it all up. Anyways, uh, next step is going to be placing your door from the inside of the build, placing an upside down stair on top of that, then another stair, another stair, and uh, actually the stair should be like that, and then like that. Then we're going to take our glass panes, we're going to fill in this area right here. Then we're going to take some ladders, I don't need the door anymore, and this is how you're going to get up your builds. You walk up here, walk up here, and you can jump and you can get on top. Or you can, uh, you could always put a solid block there, uh, like this, and you could break this one right here, and do something like this, and you can just get on your roof. It, either way, it doesn't really matter how you decide to do that, but I think, in my opinion, this looks the best. So you just come up here, walk up, and you can just jump. So we're going to put that trapdoor back, mainly because I like having the trapdoor there, but really it's a matter of preference what you want to do. Then we do a nice little sloping roof line right there. We're going to place an upside down, log, well, right side up log right there. Then we're going to take some oak wood leaves, put those on top two high. Then uh, we'll do the same thing right here and right here, except we'll just do them one high. Then uh, we'll do the same sort of thing over here and over here. And it's not really an excess of bushes because it's a garden house, so it typically like, I don't know, it should just be nice and luscious. Nice and full of life. Anyways, right here we're going to do a stair that is upside down, then uh, two that are right side up like this. And then we're going to do the same thing on each side. Uh, this side and this side can be the same, like this, so you can just do a nice little sloping roof thingy here. And then uh, on this side you can do something different if you want to mix up the roof lines and make them look a little bit more unique. You can just do a elongated roof like that, and then we can um, take these oak wood logs. And you see how I did this down here? I put some upside down stairs. So basically what I did on this side is I decided to just make this a area where you can put stuff. I uh, know that doesn't sound right, but that's where we're going to put stuff against the wall. And uh, I took another oak log and I just made it nice and high like that. So you can just have a bigger area back there for all your stuff. We can put chests against this wall and whatnot. Uh, you can go ahead and fill in these, obviously, with some glass panes. Then we're going to do a two high right here. So let's go back outside the build and let's take some stairs and place them like this on the bottom. Then like this on top. And then the stair can be right side up. And then you can just really, you, you can mix up the roof and make it do whatever. It's really not important to have the roof symmetrical. That gives it a nice little, uh, I don't really know the word, but asymmetrical look. That's the word. Obviously, you don't want to put that block there or else you can't get up on your roof. But let's go to the inside. I'm going to grab some materials and let's get to work on here. So obviously, this build is going to have an underground portion. So let's go ahead and just build this area right here. Then we can take... Uh, Let's go ahead and just put a trap down, trap door down right there. Bring this log all the way down like this, 
and then uh, build your ladder up against this wall bring it one down like that that way the trapdoor can sit flush with the ground obviously we're gonna drill out this area so just take this out a little bit and it doesn't matter how far down you go really it's not that important uh, we're gonna go ahead and grab this trapdoor back and then we can go ahead and grab this that way it's just flush with the ground it looks a little bit better and all you want to do really is just make this area a three by three room and uh, in doing this, you're going to take the cobblestone one down too, the way it's a three high room. I just like having three high rooms, it's really a matter of preference, does not matter what you do. Uh, on the inside here, we can just do some oak wood logs, or not oak wood logs, oak wood planks for the walls, and then do a nice cobblestone floor, and I think that'll look very good and complete the build very nicely. So we're gonna go back up here in a moment and we're gonna finish out this, but you can put the bed anywhere down here, you can do it like that. I think this will make the room have a little bit more space if we do it that way. But I think down here should be the utility sort of room. Uh, by the way, don't do what I just did there because you see how you can't get up the trap door. Well, uh, what you wanna do to, well, actually no, we're not gonna put the bed up here. Uh, what you wanna do is put the trap door adjacent from the wall, that way when you crawl up, you can come right here and then jump and then close it. If you don't do that, you get stuck on it and it makes, it just makes things harder anyways we can do two chests right here and right here stack those up nicely we can do a crafting table on the ground to save space uh, we can do a furnace and then an ender chest you don't even have to do stuff like that if you don't want to have them double high you don't really have to do them double high but what you could do and what I'm going to do is take a trapdoor place it right there then place a chest on top that's gonna to give a little bit more storage space uh, you can do the same thing over here you can uh, put it up there and then do a brewing stand if you wanted. I'm not going to do that. I'm going to save the brewing stand for downstairs. I might as well just do an inner chest in the corner. And this is a nice little room up here. So let's get down to work on the uh, underside of the build. So we're going to need some... Oops, what did I type? Uh, we're going to need some torches, obviously. Or else this build's going to be fairly dark, which is not good. Not good at all. Uh, we can do a torch on the outside, like right there. And right there to light it up. I'm just going to do one torch. You don't need a heck of a lot out there. Down here, we can just do the same sort of thing, just have three torches here. So I think we should do the bed right here. So what I'm going to do is hollow out this area, fill this in with some oak wood planks. We're going to take some stairs that are also made of oak. We're going to place them upside down. We're going to take some glowstone to make a nice little lighting effect right there. Then we're going to take our bed and place it on the underside right there. Take some paintings. I'm talking really fast. I don't know how, but I've done this for so long now that I can just sort of... Uh, I don't know, I could just sort of do it. Anyways, leave a like for me talking fast. Is that weird to ask? Okay, if it's weird to ask, don't do it. But, if you guys are enjoying the content, please do leave a like. It's showing me that you guys are enjoying what I'm doing. Can we try to get 1,000 likes in this video? Because that would be pretty awesome. If not, yeah, that's okay. But, if we do, that'd be pretty cool. Anyways, I'm gonna do a nice little table here. Uh, let's make it face that way. Let's take a pot with a blue orchid, because it's not a Neocubist build. It's not a the Neocubist build if we don't have a blue orchid and a pot somewhere in the build. I know I have forgotten that occasionally, but that's okay. We all do forget things on occasion. Uh, we can fill this area up with some furnaces. Uh, might as well just do it like that. So we have the bed, furnaces. We can do another little area back here. So do the same thing with the stairs upside down, the glowstone in the corner right there and right there. If you don't have access to glowstone, don't have to do that, obviously. But if you do, it just makes the build look better. So why not? Uh, we can do an anvil, ender chest, uh, crafting table. And then even back here, if you wanted to do something even cooler, you could take some stairs and place them like that where you can't really see the underside. Uh, take some glowstone. We could do two glowstone right there. Then what we can do is, let me just grab the chest from up here. Uh, take this chest and uh, place it right there. And uh, you can't see anything, but you can still open it because technically this block right here is a stair. And uh, Minecraft doesn't recognize that as a solid block. And you could even hollow that out if you don't want to build a stair or something. Not sure why you wouldn't want to, but you can. Uh, we can do a brewing stand back there, and uh, yeah, we could do some more chest storage right here. I just like to put glowstone everywhere on chests because you can't really see it, but it makes the room nice and bright, and in my opinion, that's important. But if you don't have access to glowstone, you can just do torches. Everything will be just fine, I promise. So there we go. That's the uh, little mini garden house build. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Leave a like, subscribe if you're new to the channel. Let's try to get a thousand likes in this video. Uh, if you subscribe, you get notified when I upload, and I have done a lot of tutorials, so you can check out all of them on my channel. I've done some advanced garden houses and whatnot. Let's try not to crash my computer. Let's just do 16 chunks here, but anyways, yep, yeah, that's the build. Uh, it's pretty nice, pretty simple to do, not too complicated, doesn't take that many resources. Could be a nice starter home, and uh, you could even do a farm on top if you wanted, but 
yeah, I've done a lot of builds over the past couple of years. I know it's gonna lag a little bit here, obviously, because I'm running on like 16 chunks, but again, thank you guys so much for watching. If you're interested in the music, texture pack, shader pack, any of that cool stuff, links to all that's in the description below. And yeah, I've done a lot of tutorials. Uh, <laughs> here, I'll come back when it's loaded. There we go, nice and loaded. So yeah, thank you guys for watching again. I will see you guys later. Uh, I don't know if I mentioned this because I just forgot to let it load, but uh, if you're new and uh, you don't know I have a Twitter, that's in the description below. I really don't like, I'm not super active on Twitter, but I do like to retweet everything. But yeah, leave a like for all these incredible builds. Let's try to get a thousand likes. Anyways, thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys later. Bye.